I am Kiran Preet Kaur Makkar from Makkar Isles. Today I have come up with a graph which was seen on 14 September 2019 in the academic IELTS exam in India. Uh, this is a pie chart. The chart below shows the electricity consumption in different sectors of Eastern Europe in 2007 and 2010. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So this is the question. You can see these are the two pie charts. Uh, this is for 2007 and this is for 2010. And electricity uh, consumption is uh, shown in different sectors like residential sector, commercial sector, agriculture, transport, other metals, manufacturing, aluminium, mining. So in all these, uh, you have to make comparisons. So let's look at the sample answer which I have prepared for you. The pie charts compare the consumption of electricity in different fields in Eastern Europe in 2007 and 2010. This is a one sentence introduction. Then I come up with the overall, that is the overview of the graph. This I just put, I have started putting it after the introduction. Overall, it is evident that most electricity consumption can be attributed to two sectors, domestic and commercial. So for residential, I've used the word domestic and commercial is like that. So there are two sectors. You can see 28% and 23%. So almost half. Also, the share of electricity consumption saw a major change mainly in the production of aluminium. You can see here it is 13.2 and here it is 11%. Other metals and manufacturing. While in other sectors, the share remained almost stable. So in aluminium, there was a change from 13.2 to 11, manufacturing from 12.7 to 8.5, and other metals from 12.3 to 18. Uh, while in other sectors, it was almost stable. So this, uh, this overview is a very good overview because first, uh, it tells where the maximum electricity consumption in which sectors it is seen, and then what changes occurred over the, in one sentence I have talked about the changes which, uh, which occurred over the given three years. Looking at the graph in more detail, residential sector contributed to the maximum electricity usage with figures of 28% in both years. In commercial sector, slightly less than a quarter of the electricity was consumed. So 23% is slightly less than a quarter. Quarter is 25 Slightly less than quarter is 23%. Here again, the share of consumption remained constant. The percentage of electricity consumed in transport and agriculture was only about 1% each in both the years. In transport, you can see it's 1% and in agriculture, it's 0.8. So I've used the word almost. <laughs> it was only about 1%. So 0.8 is also about 1%. So that is all about this. Then the share of electricity consumption in production of aluminium and other metals was around 13% in 2007. You can see 12.3 and 13.2, so almost 13% in 2007. While the consumption increased in other metals to 18%, it fell in aluminium to around 11%. Like aluminium, the figures for manufacturing also fell from 12.7% to 8.5%. From 12.7% to 8.5%. Finally, mining attributed for 9% of electricity use in 2007 and there was a very slight uh, rise in its share to 9.4% by 2010. So this is uh, my explanation of the graph. You can see that when you uh, put the overview after the introduction, it becomes relatively easy because you've given the general trends. And uh, this has also not got, gone uh, too lengthy. Uh, you don't, you have to write a minimum of 150 words, but it shouldn't go beyond um, 190, 200 words. So this is 193 words, which is pretty good. I hope you uh, liked the explanation which I have prepared for you. Thank you very much for watching patiently.